Hello from Washington. We're going to install the BarkBusters BHG092 handguard specifically designed for the Kawasaki KLR650 2022 Gen 3 model. It's got weighted ends. I'm going to use these Storm handguards. I actually had to order the backbones from Australia because we don't have them in the States yet, but I got them within three weeks and it only cost $30 extra. It's going to be a two beer job, so get those and we'll go over the tools real quick. You're going to want a torque wrench and you're going to have a 10 millimeter socket, a 5 millimeter Allen key socket for your torque wrench, a 5 millimeter Allen key, all your bark buster bolts are 5 millimeter, and a 6 millimeter to take off your stock weighted ends, and then a Phillips screwdriver. And this is the right side instruction they give you and then they just want you to repeat for the left side simple enough um, when you put all this together you know keep keep all the joints loose pay particular attention to the direction so you make sure you're using the right elbow uh, that the right side elbow is going to be pointing inside so there you are those all those angles are coming inside right right there and then just keep them all loose Alright, so on the right side, I got it all tightened up the way I wanted it, but you, you know, you put them in loose there, you get them situated, and I did run the cables, throttle cable and whatnot, underneath uh, the bracket, because this got crazy tight going over the top of the bracket when you got all the way to the, to the left turn. So this gives it, uh, this is going to give it a lot more freedom over there, there's no pulling on it, anything like that, it's right there at the very end. So, um, and I also lined it up to where it's going to be just a little over the bar there. Give me kind of maximum bottom finger uh, protection from the wind. And on the left side, I got this, uh, I got the OEM heater over here. I don't think that's going to be in the way at all. Uh, over here, I kind of pulled this wire up a little bit. You can pop it out if you want, but you're going to put it back in. We're going to slide the... Uh, the clamp up here just like it got slid over here up under the wire so I don't see any issues with the wire on this side that we have with the throttle cable over there so all right so here's the left side uh, loosely assembled and one of the things I love most about this design is it does include these weighted ends weighted bar ends on there I actually love that on the inside so let's try and get this Cables are fine. Crazy tension. Alright, so I've gone from a 2012 KLR650 to a 2022. Done a few mods already. I'll uh, just run by. This video was about the Barkbuster backbone specifically designed for the 2022 KLR that comes with these weighted ends for the fitment. I just got those installed. Got them set up right there and set up right there. I uh, might do a little adjusting later, but I think they're about right. I'm going for a ride here. Other things I've put on is the, the Zumo XT. Um, I tap the power wires for the Zumo over here on the accessory. So if you uh, if you go inside, take this panel off, take these off, get inside there, you'll see a couple barrel connectors behind there. I'll put up a little video on that. I took some shots of what I did, and uh, I'll show you how I put tap the power there. And I'm probably going to tap that same place 
for uh, power on the trail tech to get myself hopefully a graphical 